known? Back plugged in the game with your boy the prophet. And so today, man, we got a 100% auto inheritance video featuring the home block, Max Slider, Back the Lord Ichigo. I, as you guys can see, we're not going to add on no killer links. We're just going straight DR last ditch and that. All right, we got a bunch of videos coming up for you guys soon, and a manga on five stream a little bit later. We about to get it popping. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Let's get it lit. Drop. Shit. Shout out to mama, she raised me up single with me and my siblings, the greatest of trios. I do not pop pills, but if I could choose, I would be in the matrix of Jade out the Neo. That, that, that was abrupt. If you feel what I said with the record, let's box it out, then we can check it. Cause I sent your Gmail, aimed and dollop. Hey, yo, L, cause you got a message. Wait, can we take a quick break? Okay, and come back, cause I still got a flexi. I'm humble and still got a show. I ain't pressed. I don't talk to these hoes, so I send them a text. Back plugged in again. Alright, man. So just go ahead and take a look at the build today. Um, 303030. 30. You know, we got the wooden sword, we got the uh chappy, and then we got the captain drobe. So we're gonna be going in with that. We do have 220 DR links, and then we have a uh 20% DR and 85% last ditch survival. All right. Um, it's funny because we're using the OG Vasto Lord Ichigo on this Vasto Lord Ichigo, who's a great link. So, you know, totally makes sense. Uh, my biggest complaint, my biggest gripe about this character is that I wish she had the, I wish she had a 16% DR, meaning like for everyone. And then, you know, uh, he had last ditch survival in his, um, in his soul tree, like Aizen does, like Mook and Aizen does. So that would be that would make this character perfect as well as having lacerate um but you know giving us what we got he's still an extremely extremely potent attacker and very valuable pvp unit for these days um he just completely ripping through this auto like normally you need um i would say normally you need like a status a healing in between quest link but um Hopefully he doesn't prove me wrong, but I've been consistently um, one man autoing this. So this is my first time doing it with only him on the team though. Like, you know, in the past, I still had other people in the team, but um, yeah, man, we're gonna see if Vasto can just carry it. No resets or, you know, nothing like that. Just straight up, straight up doing it, man. Like, um, I feel like his kit does lend itself to autoing for the fact that his first and second are dash moves. The most lethal part about any time you're autoing is when you get trapped in between your enemies and you know you just get smacked from all different sides and the AI doesn't, you know, they don't adapt to just get out of there. So all they can really do is use strong attacks. So if your strong attacks give you some movement, then that's gonna make you like this right here is a dead zone. Like generally when you're autoing with the, in this particular room, look at this, look at that, look at that ferocious volley. And getting burned saved me because I probably would have got frozen again, maybe. So look at that, clean it right up. This is an extreme trouble spot for any auto. Like the fact that he got through this without having to rely on the last ditch, that alone is huge like tremendous for real for real very very huge so this is the this is the last room and there are some fire hazards on the side uh, we're right in a pool of fire just chilling right now with one hp like hey um so the thing is that we ultimately should have two last ditch survival links uh, because we got the 85 percent which isn't guaranteed to proc but it's 85 percent chance to proc so you know Pretty, uh, pretty stellar. This is the part we'll probably die. Yeah, okay. I was like, yeah, we'll probably die here, but we'll eat through this. We did get burned as well. We did, we still do have one more last ditch, and then we're gonna heal up a little bit here. But I mean, you know, as you guys are seeing, I mean, th this man, it ain't like we got three DR links or two DR links, and you know. Uh, and, and one healing in between quest link like he's getting through this with just one bar of stamina Look at this. Look at this ate you up And the, he could uh, probably do this. You probably could just do a, a healing in between quest link and then Just keep him with the same lad that you had that'll still be perfectly fine a two minute 51 auto time is very good especially with five times IZ right now so uh, getting into the second build mostly similar build 
um, we're gonna go ahead and substitute a gold pupples in for the uh, captain robe so we're still gonna be essentially going with the higher you know attack but essentially this time we have uh, you know, less actual stamina and uh, we don't have focus so we'll see we'll see which one is the better build overall we'll see if this one can even 100% auto with the you know with these current settings so um, if I do need to like run run one more build where we do the stamina in between quests because for mine mine has a um, the resurrected Onihime so she has 20% healing in between stages as well as 10% recharge so that would actually be better than not having 10% recharge because you can guard break um, and you know anytime you're using you're using strong attacks while you're autoing that keeps you safe and it knocks down the current wave of enemies so. Um, using strong attacks is, is generally always pretty good with autoing just because your character will literally like beat the shit out of a guarded character for like an hour <laughs> I don't know why sometimes they use strong attacks and sometimes look at this look at what the hell was that He was just running into the wall But with five times inheritance zone um, I really feel like having if you have one character that can pull you through an inheritance zone and granted you guys even if you don't have him max slotted even if you can make it up to this point uh up to this top point here because if you don't have slots he's probably going to die here maybe um or if you don't have like some kind of freeze reduction because this is going to be a very difficult part he definitely needs an extra last ditch link or let's see how he gets through it okay so he had a strong attack still got frozen could be bad and you use a strong attack we're probably out of that yep we're out of it boom 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 okay we got frozen one more time but it's just one of those enemies see look at that man you can see like that's an extremely problematic zone i mean extremely problematic there's i mean goodness gracious you can get boy frozen up boy turn into a big popsicle yeah yeah hear me Oh, big popsicle sauce. I'm talking about, I'm talking about gluten-free popsicles, Vasto. Like, yeah, boy, listen, man. But yeah, so he got out of it. His second strong attack, like I said, really does lend it, lend itself well to autoing um, more than PvP. When he uses his second, look at this, dude. Look at this. We didn't even die. There's, there's no death at all. There's no need for a last ditch. We completely just blanketed through the most difficult part of the, of the quest, like. This dude is almost made to auto with the last ditch link. Granted, he's not going to get uh, killer very often, but just look at the damage this dude does. Like, he obviously doesn't need it. Like, look at this, man. This is this is a wrap. This is the chicken, okay? Look, girl, you to do. You just, you just, you just done. You just done. I mean, listen, man. What better results do you guys want? I mean, we had this man 100% autoing. You know, with the NAD link, effectively, you know what I'm saying, which isn't bad, but for auto, you want survivability. Now, I will say the NAD link helped him in the case that he was killing enemies faster. But generally, as long as you're swinging your sword, you're good to go. Because if it's an enemy that's guarded, he's either going to block that damage until you got um, a move recharge, and you just break his guard and kill him. But you know, nonetheless, just showing you guys a little bit of PvP. Vasta Lord can most definitely intercept weekends as well. Uh, the best part about using him to intercept weekends is that he has that last ditch. So let's say you get uh, inflicted by debilitating weakening or debilitating paralysis. Well, there's a good chance Vasta is gonna when he comes back, he's gonna get at least two hits off you before that you know same guy realizes that Vasto came back to life. So this guy is extremely extremely valuable for PvP um, within the top. Four characters in PvP at these days, so keep that in mind, you guys. Uh, manga round five uh, gameplay will be coming out later on tonight, so we will be covering that here. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which round you guys thought is better. Looking back now, round one or round two? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Providential, love y'all. I'm out this month.